Hi there, it's Olde Hair, and today we're gonna talk about some makeup releases. I'm not gonna do any specific order, but I wanna start with those two that was like the biggest releases of this month. So let's jump into it. First up, we have Urban Decay and their Game of Thrones collaboration. And I was super excited. And if you watched my last video about makeup releases, you know how excited I was. And now we have it. In the collection we have a eyeshadow palette, a highlighting palette, a chic stain, a four lipsticks, four eye pencils, and two brushes. So let's start off with the eyeshadow palette. It's really beautiful and I love the fact that they have done the different houses and color coordinated to match those houses. Really appreciate it. What I don't appreciate, however, is the packaging. It's super, super bulky. I mean, I am not gonna carry around the Iron Throne with me to just make, do my makeup. It's fun once, but then I want it to be practical. Because of that, sadly, I will not buy it. And it's sad because the colors in the actual palette is quite beautiful. I just wish they had added a lid to the palette itself. That would have made the biggest difference because this eyeshadow palette is beautiful and I would love to have like the Iron Throne book in my bookcase somewhere. But I want the actual makeup palette to be with my makeup collection. Then we have the highlighting palette and I love the fact that they have this stamp with the dragon eggs. It's just calling my name. The sad part is I think they are too dark for my skin tone. And because of that, I probably won't buy this either. Then there is the lip and cheek thing and I won't buy it. It's a hell no for me for two reasons. The first reason, it's a cheek product and I, as I've told you in another video, own one blush. I am not someone who likes blush. And the second reason is it's a liquid blush. It scares me. The product in itself scares me. I'm not... no. And it looks like blood. I'm just like, no, I'm not about that love. I know what you were going for, but I'm not about it, so it's a hell no for me. What isn't a hell no for me is the lipsticks. I wish I could buy all four of them, but my um, budget is quite limited, <laughs> so that won't probably happen. I want them. I don't need them, but I, if they were ever to go on sale, I would buy all of them. But if I have to just choose one, it would probably be the White Walker one. Or maybe Cersei. That looks like a fun lipstick and it's not a color I own in my collection. I do think it has similar colors to White Walker, which is why I feel like I want it. <laughs> because it's the color story that I like. But Cersei is, is more special and would stand out in my collection more. Then there is the 24 hour glide on pencils. I think that's the name of them. And I would love to own all four of them. But I don't feel like I need all four of them. The two that I am like, these two is really fun and I would probably use them quite a lot. There are two blues. One has a shift of red and one has a shift of like really icy blue-ish as I've seen on pictures, and those two would be so fun to play around with, so hell yeah. Last up, they have the brushes, and although the brushes look cool as hell, I don't need them, and they feel like they're just gonna take space, but they are cool as hell. I mean, they're swords, but I'm probably gonna say no to that one too. The second launch during April, well, it was the last of uh, March, but I felt like if I'm gonna talk about the other product from these brands, I might as well just throw this one in. And it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Collection. And in this Blue Blood Collection, there is an eyeshadow palette, there is a lip bundle with mini velour lips, not, not lipsticks, it's uh, li liquid lipsticks. And uh, liquid highlights, I think there are five colors. It didn't shake, I should have done that. Uh, lip scrubs, a makeup bag, and a mirror. I would love to have this collection, I really do. I love blue. Blue is my absolute all-time favorite color. And we had like a continuous joke between me and one friend specifically in high school where I would be like, oh, that thing is cute, 
but it's not blue. It would be cuter in blue. So it was really a joke when I would pick anything. Like if we're in the store and I see a cute dress and I would pick it up and like, this is cute. And my other friend is like, but is it blue? Is it? <laughs> and I would be like, oh, you, I know what you're doing. So this collection really screams my name. However, I, it's a very specific collection and I don't see me using blues that much to justify buying this collection. I would love to have the eyeshadow palette, especially since the eyeshadow palette, although it looks very blue, it isn't all blue, thank god. <laughs> they, it has some neutrals and I think like a peachy neutral tone that will complement these blue colors very well, but you can have them on its own as well. And I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. But it's very bulky, just as I said with the Urban Decay one. I want it to be easy to take with and I want it to be easy to store because I don't have that much amount of space. I want this collection eventually, but I'm gonna take like a step back because I don't feel like I need it right now. If I'm not wrong, this isn't a uh, limited edition collection, it's here to stay, you know? So I could take a step back, wait, see if it goes on sale, and then sort of pick something of this collection up. Speaking of Jeffree Star, the biggest release in April was his concealers and powders. And although I would love to test these out, there's one thing that makes me not do it, and I will probably never do it as well is the fact that I will never, ever buy a complexion product of Inkjet. Because I don't feel comfortable enough to be like, oh, that shade might be mine. And if it's not, then I've wasted money and I'm not about that. And then we have Anastasia Beverly Hills and she realized a shimmer body oil, not my sort of product. I do not want to be shimmery. I like a sheen, but anything with glitter in it is a hell no for me. And then we have BH Cosmetics, and first off they have come out with some new eye pencils. It's their power pencil, and they look quite nice. It's like, I don't know, I get the vibe of the 24-7 Glide on Urban Decay uh, pencils. I haven't tested those out, but I want to test them out. These feel like sort of copied. Am I wrong? Because they're really similar. I mean, it's a pencil. It's easy to do similar things when the packaging is quite limited. But when I saw these first time, I thought it, they were Urban Decay pencils. If I ever buy something from BH Cosmetics, I might pick one or two of these out. Then they also came out with their Summer Lovin' eyeshadow palette. And it's very pink. And I'm not about pink. <laughs> pink is not my color. Pink can be very nice and beautiful on other people. I was sort of scarred <laughs> with pink. I grew up with like this super pink room when I didn't like pink. So I sort of hate pink right now. <laughs> so I will not pick this up. And then we have the Aquarius palette and they have come out with like each individual sign from the zodiac signs every single month of the sign. And I've been always like super excited to see what they come out with. But this one is the first one that I feel like I would actually use. I mean, it is blue, first of all. I mean, we talked about this in the Jeffree Star one, but it's blue. I love blues and it also has quite neutral colors. So this might actually be one I would use. But at the same time, it's Aquarius. I'm not Aquarius. I'm waiting for the Libra, which is in October, but it's gonna come. And I am excited and worried because Libra is usually sort of seen as the pink sign. Baby pink, that's Libra. And I do not want a baby pink palette. I mean, Libra is a lot more. It's baby pink, it's neutral, and it's baby blues. So I would love to see that. If it's like one shade of pink, I can live with that. But if the other shades are like blue and neutral, I might pick it up. Otherwise, it's gonna be this Aquarius one because it's beautiful and I love zodiac signs. 
think they are so interesting. I don't believe in them, however, I just think that they are so interesting. Then we have Buxom, and they have come out with a lot of lip products, which I love because I'm a sucker for lip products. And I want them all. Gotta catch them all, lip products! So first up, we have these two mini bar kit collection with travel-sized lip products. So we have the Rosé one, and then we have the Tequila one. And I would love to have both. They look so much fun, and I want to test out more from Buxom. So this might end up in my cart one day. Don't know. Then they also came out with some limited edition lip colors, which is called the Mystical Muse collection. And they look really, really beautiful. I mean, the two purples are on my radar, and if I find them on my way of buying other things, I will probably buy them as well. And last up, a product I would definitely try on is their Serial Killer Lip plumping color I don't know I don't have the name on my head but it's zero killer it's a plumping lip color lip gloss sort of thing and I mean the colors are beautiful I'm a little scared about the plumping aspect I usually don't buy that but I feel like it's time for me to venture in to the realm of plumping lip products and this product will be the one to introduce me to the rest of them. <laughs> okay, Colourpop. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, Colourpop is coming out with stuff all the time. I mean, Colourpop is killing the game. They, are, they just are. So let's get through the king and queen of releases. So first off, we have their gel eyeliners. And they have these pots one and the pencil ones. And if I'm not wrong, all of these are not new. They are repackaged. But some of the colors are new. And I would love to have them on. <laughs> it's something about me and rainbow. Because I love to play around with makeup. And I want every single color of the rainbow. So I would love to have all of these. Would I buy all of these? <laughs> no. Because I don't have the money for it. But I would love to buy at least a couple of these. Like the most fun colors. I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick up some blues, some greens, some uh, purples. Might even pick up a, not a pink, but a red. A red might be the one. Because when it's Halloween, if you have a red eyeliner, you can do blood stuff. You know, it's a good to have color. They've also released some new uh, loose pigments. I do think they came out with pig loose pigments a long time ago and it was a flop. And then Caitlyn Light came out with her Sodia collection with loose pigments and it was a hit. And now they have extended the range of loose pigments with more neutral ones. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not as excited about these loose pigments as I was for the Zodiac one. The Zodiac one I would like to have the whole collection, truth be told. I didn't buy it because I don't have the money for it. And I wanted the villain collection, so just saying. But there is like one or two colors in here that I feel like might be something I would like to have, but nothing I need. I would rather have a eyeshadow palette than loose pigments because it just feels messy. And I know that I am not the biggest fan of loose powders in general. And lastly, they collaborated with Makeup Shayla. Don't know who she is. I do believe she's on YouTube or on Instagram, if not both. And it's the Proceed with Caution collection. And I mean, it looks really fun. It does. But it's not my products. It's not my colors. The lip products, however, might be something I will pick up. Because those look like something I would use. But I don't use blushes. I am not intrigued about this yellow neutral type of palette and someone is gonna be really happy with this i am not the one then we have uvia space and i am sort of shocked that they haven't been more around this but they came out with concealer and foundation and as i said before i will never buy a complexion product off the internet 
but I'm sort of surprised that this didn't like break the internet, you know? Because I mean, it's Juvia's place. Everyone loves their palettes and uh, it's affordable. No one is talking about it. I will not buy this because of why, you know, I talked about this before. But I'm super shocked that no one else is talking about it. I mean, come on. Juvia's place. They are releasing a concealer and foundation. Why isn't anyone reacting? And next up we have Linda Halberg Cosmetics, which I've seen that brand in the stores before and I've been intrigued, really. There are some eyeshadows I've seen that have been like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> but she came out with a new palette and that palette is beautiful. And it looks like the pants are really big, so you get a lot of products. I know there is this ginormous pink shade, not calling my name, but the blues and the purples and the green and that like silvery type of... Mm, mm -mm. And then there's like this peach one. I would love to pick this up, especially since I can, you know, physically in a store because it's a Swedish brand and I live in Sweden, you know. Then we have Milk Makeup and... I know that this first one isn't specifically makeup, but they came out with a new face mask. Yeah, I am so excited. <laughs> I want to test out milk makeup. I really want to do that. And one of the things I really wanted to test out are their face masks. And now they have one more. And I would love to have all of them. <laughs> it feels to me that this is the most convenient way to put on a mask. It's a stick, you put it on and no messes whatsoever. So they have this mascara, this Milk Crush mascara. Yes? No? And now they came out with a waterproof formula, a primer formula, and they also have extended their line of brow gel uh, for more colors. Truth be told, I am not that interested in these things. However, I am looking for a new mascara, but I don't think that the Milk Mascara is the one I'm looking for. Next up, we have one of my absolute all-time favorite uh, cosmetic brands, and it's NYX Cosmetics. And they recently, they dropped it like a couple of days ago. It's their Bear With Me collection. So in this collection, they have chic products, they have a primer, a skin tint, a face mist, I don't know if it's a setting spray, might be as well. I mean the packaging is very simple, it's very sleek. I do think that they are really going for that neutral look for summer type of feel and I might test some of them out. I don't know which ones, uh, might be all of them, might just be one or two, but we will see. But I am very excited for this collection and actually nyx also came out with some new brow products it's their fill and fluff brow pencil and no <laughs> no it's just a no for me don't mind the actual pencil but i don't understand the brush it literally looks like a toothbrush it's just a no for me i am not mm -mm, no then they also have their Glitter Goals collection that they released whilst, you know, Coachella was in the United States. We don't really have this here, so we are sitting here in Sweden being like, what are you doing? The hell? Why is everyone dressing weird and having glitter all over the face? They came out with this collection, which is basically just glitter. And I don't know, I feel like I've seen the palettes before, but I am not sure if I'm including them if I'm wrong. But there's like this big palette with just pure glitters and then there's like this mini palettes uh, also with just glitters and they look nice, they do. I'm not someone who likes glitter but if I were to buy any one of these I would totally buy the blue one. I mean, come on, it's blue. But the liquid lipstick however, I know that's new because I haven't seen that one before and if there is one product I am constantly looking at when it comes to lip products, it's NYX. NYX lip products are the best for the money that you buy for. 
So I would love to test out those. Not my type with the glitter and everything, but I can live with it. And then we have Tarte, and I don't own any of Tarte's products, but I know for a fact that I, if I ever are on their website, I will lose a couple of hours of my life. <laughs> and first off, just sit down, especially you from Sweden. Sit down, sit down, yes, yes, sit down, okay, okay. Everyone ready? Tarte is coming to Sweden. Yes! You can find Tarte at Sephora nowadays, uh, here in Sweden. And I'm so happy about that. We don't have a Sephora in the town that I live in, but in the big town that is just like an hour that way. <laughs> they have a Sephora and I would love to go there and swatch like everything they own. Thank you, Tarte, for being here in Sweden with me. Thank you. Thank you. But we're gonna talk about makeup releases. And they came out with their Icy Bridge collection. Not collection, their eyeshadow palette. And this was a April Fool's palette from last year, but they got so much, you know, positive response that they decided to make it this year. And it's blue, of course, I'm gonna love it. And when you sort of compare them to the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, there's like big, bulky, a lot of product, and I feel like intimidated by that. And then we have the Icy Bitch small compact pa um, palette with less colors, but really blue colors. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna take the Tarte one over the Jeffree Star one. Truth be told, I'm dead serious. I might take the Tarte one, might jump over the Blue Blood one, but I would love to have them both. But if I have to choose, I'm gonna go take the Tarte one. And I mean, the swatches are just beautiful. I mean, come on, come on. They also collaborated with uh, Adelaine and did this like lemon themed palette. And I don't really feel like I want it, truth be told. But it is a really fun palette. And I think there are a lot of people out there that will love this one, especially since it's yellows and yellow isn't a color you usually find in a palette nowadays. So I think it's very innovative and new and fun and that I applaud good work yes but it's not a palette for me and then Tarte came out with their new big ego mascara and yes I am out looking for a new mascara don't think this is the one though I am not looking for a voluminous mascara because I feel like my lashes tend to clump together when I use a voluminous mascara and this is supposed to be super voluminous. <laughs> I need separation and length. I don't need volume. And then we have the balm that they released this month. It's their Auto Balm palette. And it's three palettes, two eyeshadow palettes and one sheet palette. I think that the palettes in itself, they look really fun and different and they will stand out from your collection. But personally, I don't really feel like I need any of them. If there's anything I would like to have, because I'm out looking for this anyway is their cheek palette because they have some really neutral cheek colors like their blush colors and I have been looking for a very neutral cheek palette so when I do want to have blush I can use that uh, so I might pick that one up but eyeshadow palettes sort of underwhelming although just a side note I don't understand why you are able to pick the palette of the tin what is that gonna do i don't understand that the body shop has also some new goodies and first off they have this mascara the happy go lash mascara and i wanna i feel the same with this as i do with the other mascaras i've talked about today because it feels like they all do the same and i'm not looking for that type of mascara so they came out with two eyeshadow palettes and they look quite nice actually, really fun and beautiful. They are very neutral, so these are more for your everyday type of wear, but I would like to test them out actually, if they are not too expensive. Then we have Too Faced, so first off they came out with their Coco Contour Palette. First when I saw it I was like, I want it, I want it so bad. I mean it looks like you can eat it, 
but the thing is I would just use the light ones and uh, that makes me not want to buy it because I'm not buying a palette with two colors. Too Faced also expanded their lip glosses. This was the lip gloss that they did a collaboration with whoever her name was. But it was the Pretty Mess collection from last month or month after that. I'm not too much into lip glosses and I don't really see any color that I would like so it's a pass for me on those. Then they came out with their Natural Lust palette and also the bronzer that is up in the corner somewhere, here, 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 somewhere. It looks very nice, it does. It's not my type of color scheme and um, I just, I saw the other one, the Natural Love palette. They are really similar. The only thing is that this new one, the last one, has a lot more deeper colors than the love one but they are still really similar and i bet there are like a couple of shades in the newer one that is in the older one and uh, i don't know i do not like that they should have just done more with this palette because it's in my opinion too similar to be like the upgrade of it and then we have Wet n Wild and they came out with their Crystal Coven collection and it's beautiful. So what they've done is that they chose three different crystals which is Jade, Amethyst, Rose Quartz and Quartz. And then they sort of had eyeshadow palettes for that. They have lip colors and I'm not sure what this is but they have like a tube with a clear liquid in and stones. I think it's either a setting spray or some type of spray or it's a perfume. Besides these there is a highlight and then there is like the finishing powder or a highlight finishing powder and I also think I see a primer. Is that a primer in there in the back? Maybe. I really think that this collection is very beautiful and I would love to own it. And uh, since this is a very affordable brand, and that is what makes me want to pick this up even more, I do have a sort of interest with crystals. I really like the fact that crystals and makeup sort of goes together, because I think that that is a very nice combination. And this is probably the first time this has ever happened, but I might even grab doubles. I will not grab doubles to have like backups, but I have a niece who is really interested in crystals as well as I am. It's sort of our thing. And now she's started to get an interest with makeup as well. So I might grab like doubles of whatever I am buying and giving it to her so that we can like play around with it together. That would actually be really fun as a video idea. I might do that. Then I'll check with her um, mom and with her, of course, if they want to do that. That would be fun. Isn't that typical? My camera just got filled up and stopped recording right at the end. So there's only one more collection to talk about. It's the Melody collection from Sueva. I do really think that this collection is so beautiful. They have one eyeshadow palette and a couple of light lip products. I think they are lip glosses. That's what they look like in the picture at least, and one mirror. And the lip glosses and the mirror doesn't really excite me, but the eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Both on the outside and on the inside. It like has these butterflies on the outside that has like this dual chromatic metallic sort of uh, pattern in the wings. Really beautiful. And the inside just right up my alley. I'm gonna pick that one up. I will. It's not a question about it. I just haven't done it yet. So that's everything. That's all the makeup releases from April, but also from the end of March, because that's when I started tracking all these makeup releases. So what did you think? And also, is there anything you're excited for? Anything that I talked about or anything that I didn't talk about? I did just talk about releases that are cruelty free, because I am really doing an effort to only buy cruelty-free brands of 
everything not only makeup so yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think what are on your wish list and what are not and why i guess that's the end of this video so i see you in the next one bye